Greetings everyone, and great here for another couple euros to replay straight from the live games lobby. So on the top right side is the Wehrmacht forces. We have Caliber 007. So on the bottom left side is the red US forces. We have Doc. We do have both players selected in the Doc stream. We do now have the Airborne Company as well as the Jaeger Infantry Doc stream. And I'm getting hit by some lag spikes right now. I'm not sure why. It feels like maybe it's the start of each replay. Since I'm doing spectate, it causes these little lag spikes. Maybe I should try pausing the game to start with to get a little bit of buffer. Not sure. We got a squad of Pathfinders now deploying the field. He's probably going for some more Pathfinders and then probably if we'll top it on off, Pathfinders more Pathfinders. On station and ready for action. And we've got, of course, a Grenadier and a MG42 now deploying the field. Sector now captured on up. We do now have the Gresh Law on the point out ink traps and wire. Entry 42 behind some heavy cover here, just trying to protect the fuel point and parts of the VP. Also, the tractor is probably the best spot for it, but you never know when your opponent may already be here. Okay, moving forward with the Grenadiers is probably a good way to keep that area secured and prevent the MG42 just being forced back immediately. Pioneers now capturing the munitions sector. Steady up, man. Pathfinders came behind the tractor as well. That's it. And we got more tank traps into barbed wire as well. First engagement could be here. He may be able to get the first strike onto the MG42. Inch 42 is just heading to the crater. The gunner will be in the light cover. Everybody else will be out of the crater. I'm assuming there's light cover there. Or just a bit of paranoia. You never know when sometimes the crater provides no cover. No bullets been fired. This first engagement here. Half-Miners get the first shot, but the Grandiers get the first hits. We also got the fence crews looking away. He's trying to get some shots onto it. But at this point in time, he only get only minimal damage, taking a bit too much damage so far. Inch 42 farm away, suppresses down that pathfinder. That pathfinder gets forced him back, doing minimal damage to infantry 42. Pathfinders and rear echelon advancing. Pioneers back here. Sector. Fourth squad of Grindeers being pulled in the field. US player does have some fuel. Pioneers immediately going for the as the removal package. Maybe I just to clean up the barbed wire for the for his own usage. Lieutenant now pulled in the field. I think we see a utility car. Nope, he's going straight for the mechanized platoon command post. He's going straight for a steward. I find a charge my forward, but the one squad is pretty wounded, and that one's just charge first and get focused down first. Grenier is backing off, trying to go back to his buddy to get behind head cover. Falls back there. Ambush camouflage can now be researched. Maybe a bit interesting to use against Pathfinders. That's really a situational upgrade. M42 now firing away. Lieutenant takes some private damage there. Lieutenant Thompson just went down, and the lieutenant himself is falling back, or the last guy in the squad at least. The Grenadier needs to fall back, but he's going to use it to decapture the sector. The enemy is attempting to steal our bit sector. bold, but also the model itself has plenty of health, so it does have some time to retreat on back. Grenadier skins good damage from the Pathfinders, does get that cutoff sector. 
But right now, the Vermont player is down to standard income, base income. And he will have this point to be fully captured. And also needs advance forward to the light cover there. A single model grenadier does fall back now. We do have a flank of the rear echelon. And for two rotating round, 50 cal on point of field. I thought it was going to be a steward because he does not have enough fuel yet for a steward. Needs 10 more fuel. Another 20 seconds ish of fuel. Grenadier is heading down south, taking a bit of damage. The cow pushes away forward, setting on up. Right, on does take some pot shots there, probably won't get much damage. Naga Jaeger Commander, so it's going for five feature squads, has the, the Mad Punk on the field. I wonder if it's going to be eyeing for G43s or LMGs. And will, how much ambush camouflage is going to try to eye? We do now have a steward being pulled on the field. He sees the lieutenant. And he does not see fewer squads either, so he should give indication that a fast steward is going to be on the build queue. After all, seeing wounded squads and seeing the lieutenant, or seeing an end officer and no and wounded squads likely give an indication that he's going for a fast vehicle of some sort, whether it be M, excuse me, M15 or Stewart. And seeing the Stewart is also the bigger threat. His opponent does not have any sort of AT on the field. Whoops, I hit Fog of War. Battle Phase 1 is researched. I the don't see Teller Mines in the field. LMG is now deployed on out for the Grenadiers. Rearshall on this sector, initial sector being captured on up. We got a good number of pathfinders here, ready to ambush. Grenadiers over here, in defensive position, no ambush camouflage, does have the LMG upgrade. Life mechanized company now point of view. Stuart, way over here, not engaging. Does find the Grenadiers and the MG42. Rotating around, trying to engage that area over there. May or not, it's going on to engage the squad that's capturing up the VP. Got Sprint now active. Does receive a hit there. Does have the Pentacal, which can help cover the Stewart's retreat. Grenadier is engaging the rear echelon. Good hits on the Grenadier. And the Grenadier squad does fall back. The commander trying to tie something does eye a bit of damage into himself and does fall back there. Let's take a bit of fire there. Just hugging the cover. Pack 40 has a bit of time before it gets pushed and get some rounds onto the steward. Grand Deer could push on forward. Trying to eye for a sprint into a Panzer Faust. Stewart is paying attention, but of course, sprint is sprint. Does close distance, does get the Panzer Faust off. 50 cal is here to cover his retreat, so he should be just fine to pop on out and get repaired. Point is under attack. Uh, pop on out, right? There. Or just use new rear for repairs. Keep it nice and safe. Pack 40 in the region. And in range.
Engine repair complete. And another pack forward in the build queue. Bar finder is now pulled on the field. Got three bars. I actually need to make that five bars here. And mini drops on the bars. This is a rifle grenade. Grenadier squad does fall back. This squad only has the one bar, so we can pick up the bar. Grenadier's taking a bit of damage to it firing away. And receive a hit there from the pack board, being forced by the ground through the hedge. Rolls in this there, of course. And does pick up the bar. Lieutenant does flank and does force back the MG42. Out of the Pathfinders advancing, trying to get behind some heavy cover here. And of course, they should do quite well at both close range and long range. Rifle grenade firing. These guys are wounded. Uh, didn't dodge it, which actually was good. Means took less damage. Grenadier's I have a flanking grenade. That can do some damage. He does dodge that one. They're very wounded. Ambulance is point few. Does receive a pants house there. Reaction is going to repair it on up and falls back there. Overall, great engagement there by the U.S. player. Men, lock and load. The ambulance might have a lot of work in front of them. They need a lot of blood transfusions and band-aids. For the munitions sector now, we do not have. Send your order is pressure two one. Right, we're on it. All right, here's the thing. And it moving around. Stewart advancing. Rolls on this there. Pathfinder's pretty forward. May just want to stick this heavy cover. Adventure C1. Of course. Pathfinders do vet up really quickly. Now I got an M1 AT gun para drop. As about using Pathfinders to pick those weapons up, they do self spot. So they may just do it for the rear echelon. We've also got a para dropped airborne squad there. Any T gun delivered to the rear echelon's hands. Grandiers do suppress there. Got this one flanking around. No rifle grenade. Not enough conditions for a rifle grenade. And does get suppressed there. Does fall back. All those grandiers pull in bar back. Pack 40 finds some hits there. Not enough conditions for a Panzer Faust. He's sprinting way forward. That was a horrible plan because that was a waste of munitions. And it was not really needed for a bluff there either. Our industry grows to support us. Our opponents are seizing a sector. I find us do fall back there. We are losing a sector. Here's three forward. So by the way, just either light cover or the heavy cover. It will get ripped apart upon advancing. Stick to this carcass there, the bulldozer. And he's getting flanked a little bit there and a little bit exposed. Lieutenant does get a great flank there. No grenade research. And the lieutenant himself was down, so no Thompson there either. Lieutenant does fall back. As he's, uh, Pathfinder starts. Setting up, they get increased weapon range. It's vet 3 1. Increased greater accuracy and range. That Grandier is getting annihilated. Is being Once these guys get the vet 3, they will be able to safely siege down this position without which will see minimal retaliation. Your commander takes some severe damage there. Grandiers do flank the MG. The airborne player has a massive reserve of manpower. The airborne player does have a decent amount of resources. It has Battle Phase 2, so we can actually get a Panzer 4 out right now. And maybe we're going straight for Tier 4. 
Could possibly iron for a burn bar or a panzer warfare. Let's use senior rounds of these forces to suppress that one. He is flanked. Grenades been thrown, and he will explode. We have lost an MG team. Definitely a good idea for the airborne squad to capture up that MG. Stuart engaging the Grenadiers down here. Getting some good damage there. The capture point is under attack. Rock grenade fired. Does avoid it. Another rifle grenade firing. He does eat that one. And this Grendier does get annihilated. Black Panzer also into employment field. Keep that alive can do can reward him quite well for the ET3 support as well as the anti-aircraft support. He has two pack boys afield and still having trouble with dealing with the Stuart. He has captured the M242, so he has access to a good, a more suppression platforms to protect his flank. Reshalon and Defense Week 4, we'll find all that stuff there. Stuart sees the pack 40, so he really doesn't need to get on out of there. It's double pen there. And he's not back out of range, he's dead. Stuart was more or less thrown away there. Scott being pulled on the field, which will allow the Oswin more breathing room. Black Panzer does get an AT gun shot there, come overrunning the AT gun. He has not laid down any light AT mines from the echelons. Barely anybody ever does. AT gun has been wiped down out. He's starting to hit this. But M242. Lieutenant there in very close range. Grandier is engaged as well. Suppressed, but engaging. M242 is flanked. Does fall back the squad as well. Entry 42 falling back. Does get wiped on out. But can't recapture it unless we lose entire squad. Airborne squad does fall back there. We do have some forces here. A little bit too blobby. Should send the squad or two back to the VP. Got this blob pushing way forward. Does the AT gun recruit. Grandiers need to focus it down. Grandier needs to fall back now. Does get decrewed. And does get wiped out by the lieutenant. That's a four on the build queue. Very good. Another AT gun being para dropped in as well. Right now, the Wehrmacht player is down all of his pioneers, or pioneer singular, and he has lost two of his grenadiers as well. And of course, the MG42. So the Wehrmacht player has lost quite a bit. Light artillery barrage not running on end. Wipes out the AT gun. Wipes out the rear echelon. Scott firing away. It's good at the end of the grenadiers. Grenade's been thrown as well. Uh. Throws away the uh, Grandier squad, does drop the LMG with that. When you crew a weapon, it does give a drop chance for its slot weapon. That's why I got the paratrooper squad. Everything falling back, denoting an LMG to its opponent. And it's four push straight forward. Pathfinder does pick up the. LMG, Advance forward, Advance way forward. Black Panzer Osman needs to get on out of there, take severe damage. Black Panzer Osman does go down, they did not get out of there. It still doesn't have any pioneers in the field, though granted the Advance forward doesn't need any repairs, just only has a slight scratch onto him. Got a second Scott on the field. I think a Jackson would have been better. He has already plenty of infantry in the form of all the Pathfinders and MGs. I think a Jackson for mobile AT would be useful since he has only static AT. Forty 
57 air support now available. You now bring the loiter. Scots are getting repaired on up now. I got these forces heading down the road, AT guns as well. Both are only one got repaired, the other one's falling. The rear echelon does fall back. Both pack boarding this region, which are not going to be super useful against the Scots since they tend to go within their range. Do fall back there. Destroy forward. Possibly crushes here. Does destroy heavy cover. This actually is quite important. Uh, driving them by. Great hit there. And receive a hit there from the AT gun. Another good hit there. And one AT guns are ripping apart. To austere vehicles since they are a lot more lightly armored than OKW ones at least the Panzer 4 and the M1 AT gun has like a reload speed of like three seconds two AT guns upon getting double pen they can wipe out Panzer 4 within three seconds assuming they get another double pen Black Panzer also on the build queue he needs a pioneer on the build queue Grenade firing. Gets a decent hit there, but no model drops. Does retreat back the squad entirely. I got a lucky bounce there. Those things don't really bounce all too much against the Austere Panzer IV. They more have a problem with inaccuracy than bounce rate. Has fresh pioneer on the field for repairs. Black fans are pushing pretty far forward, finding Cola nothing. Maybe we'll snipe the ambulance. We'll find the bazooka. The bazooka does connect. AT gun does connect as well. But there's a line of sight block here to protect himself from the AT guns. There's another bazooka hit there. Pathfinder's pretty forward. Grenadier squad needs to fall back. And the officer. Man squad does get wiped down out. No uh, wiped out grenadier with a dropped LMG. Man squad needs to fall back. He's suppressed and getting annihilated by a pathfinder. Uh, is he AFK? I think he may be AFK at this point. Yep, he does. Looks like he did uh, either back out of the game or got dropped or something. Either way, this is Anne Gray saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.